What is up you guys? It's Julia and today is Monday so you guys know what that means. It is Manifestation Monday here on my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi my name is Julia. Thank you so much for subscribing. We're almost at 2,000 which is absolutely insane and incredible and I couldn't have done it without you guys so thank you so much for subscribing to me. And yeah, let's get straight into today's video. Today's Manifestation Monday video is going to be book recommendations. Now, all of the books that I read typically are on the spiritual side. They're either like self-help, self-transformation, or like a little bit more businessy books that also though have to do with the law of attraction, of course. So I'm going to give you my book recommendations of the ones that I've read already and of the ones that I have on my bookshelf right here that I'm planning on reading soon. So let me show you my book. Here is my bookshelf. Some of these I've read, some of them I have not yet. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Okay, sorry for the change of angle. I put the camera lower so I could sit, but we're gonna get straight into it with two of my absolutely favorite books. So one of my favorite authors for like Law of Attraction books is Esther and Jerry Hicks. Now their books are written through Abraham which is their spirit guide and so Abraham is a spirit guide essentially and it's Esther's spirit guide who communicates. So Abraham communicates to us through Esther so Esther writes out whatever Abraham tells her. So this first book was one of the first Law of Attraction books I ever read like three years ago and this is a very good beginner book. It's um, like basics on the law of attraction, basics, basic teachings in an easy way to get into it. So Ask and It Is Given is an amazing book I recommend for all of you guys to get and start with this one. Now next is the Essential Law of Attraction Collection, The Teachings of Abraham. And this, as you can tell, is a little bit more in-depth book, but still basic teachings. It just touches a lot of different topics that Ask and It's Given doesn't go over. It gets into a lot more um, like inner being topics or just like inner being things and how to connect with your inner being and how to not let other people control your emotions and just how to be your true self and live your best life. And this book does a lot of like gives a lot of examples on how to live your best life, how to connect with your inner being. And so this book I definitely recommend. It's a big read. It's definitely a good 600 pages. Yeah. But this book was one of, I read this this year, but this book opened my eyes to so many of the other books that I now have on my bookshelf because of all the different topics that this book does touch upon. I mean, it's overall about the law of attraction, but it does touch on so many deeper concepts that are so important in understanding throughout your spiritual journey. So those are those two books. Now we will get to, so The Untethered Soul. I just finished this book yesterday and this book is like deeper concepts about yourself. It talks about leaving your pain and leaving your like, it talks about how to leave your mind, but how to escape your ever thinking mind, how to escape the like egoistic mind. And this book just truly will transform your soul so that you can flourish and live your life to the fullest. One of the last chapters of the book talks about the concept death and about how most people in life fear death so much, but it says in the book that death shouldn't be feared, it should be like, you should be grateful for death because death is your sign that you are here living life and you are gifted this life and every day you should look at life as if you're going to die tomorrow because you need to live every day to the fullest because if you don't, you'll never be fulfilled. But if you fully live every day, you will be fulfilled by the time that your time is over. So this book takes your journey, takes your soul on a journey for sure. And if you're ready to leave behind that pain self and finally discover why you avoid certain situations or why you were the way you were, it's all because that's what your mind tells you to do. But 
I'm telling you it's the opposite from what your soul wants, so read this book and it will open a lot of doors for you for sure. Next two very, very, very powerful books that I've read this year also, Think and Grow Rich and The Power of Now. The Power of Now is all about living in the present moment, escaping the past, escaping your um, depression, your sadness, your guilt, and escaping the future, escaping your anxiety and your fear. Because if you truly live in the present moment, there's nothing in that present moment except pure joy. So once you realize that, you... Well, right here it says, ceasing to create pain in the present and dissolving past pain. This is what I want to talk about now. So you, it's all, like I said, about living in the now. Recommend. You just need to read it for yourself because it takes you on a personal journey that is so powerful. Think and Grow Rich. Just as the title says, Think and Grow Rich. If you read this book, it gives you the secret to getting millions into your life. This book I more recently finished and it was amazing. It definitely opened my eyes to a lot of new like business side concepts that I never thought about or knew before. And this book also, I have a whole video on this book, but this book has so many different success stories in it and yeah, just an overall very, very good motivating book that you all need to get and read. So now I still have a bunch of books in my bookshelf, but not ones that I've read yet. So we'll go with this one. This one I started, but I'm only, I don't remember how far in I am. Oh, there's, I'm on page 54. And so this book is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And this book I'm super excited to keep reading because yeah, it seems super good. I'll read the description or it doesn't really have one. Okay, yeah, this book doesn't really have one, but this also is a more businessy book. Oh, I know an example. This book uses two examples of two different pictures and it gets you to look at them two different ways. So that kind of gives a little example of what this book is about, like having you look at things different ways because not everyone sees life, for example, from the same perspective. Everyone has a different perspective. And so this book teaches you to accept other other people's perspectives. That's what I read in the first like 50 pages so far. So definitely recommend that book. Now I will show you some of the books that I plan on reading that I have not gotten to yet. So I have As a Man Thinketh by James Allen. I'm super excited to read this one. I'll read the back what it says. It says, um, Millions of readers have experienced the power of James Allen's As a Man Thinketh. Its simple, forthright ideas have touched hearts and even changed lives for more than a century, and today they continue to point the way to a fuller, richer, more compassionate existence. Now his beloved inspirational masterpiece is revived, revised and updated for the 21st century. Arcane terms or references have been gently adapted to the present frame of reference so that Alan's message resonates as freshly today as for his generations. So yeah, I'm super excited to read this one as well. So that is As a Man Thinketh. Also, I have A Course in Miracles. I have started this and I am on page 19, but this book is intense. It has a lot, a lot of tough concepts in it. And so I'm kind of taking this one like one day at a time and like so I can fully digest what each page says. But I can read you guys like maybe one little quote that I have underlined. So the first page says, this is a course in miracles. It is a required course. Only the time you take it so voluntarily. Vol voluntary. Free will does not mean that you can establish the curriculum. It means only that you can elect what you want to take at a given time. The course does not aim at teaching the meaning of love, for that it is beyond what can be taught. It does aim, however, at removing the blocks to the awareness of love's presence, which is your natural inheritance. The opposite of love is fear, but what is all-encompassing can have no opposite. This course can therefore be summed up very simply in this way. Nothing real can be threatened nothing unreal exists herein lies the peace of god and so this book i'm super excited to start well i did start it but to get more into because it is an intense book it's almost like a bible in a sort so that is a course in miracles 
Now, next, I have this book, Conversations with God. I also started this one the other day. I'm only on page four though. This book is also very big, but this book is kind of like a question and answer type book. So the author, Nail Donald Walsh, asks questions to source, which he refers to as God, but God, source, the universe, spirit, any of those words, whichever one you feel comfortable with using is who he's talking to. And so throughout the book, he just asks questions and they're answered. So that is what this book is about. Oh, and that was Conversations with God. Um, another book I'm excited to read is A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle, the same author of The Power of Now. So I can't wait to read that one. And then I also have the Astonishing Power of Emotions by Esther and Jerry Hicks, so I can't wait to read that one. And I have The Power of Intention by Dr. Wayne D Dwyer. I always say his name wrong, so I have that. And I think that is all the books on my bookshelf. Oh wait, there's one more. I also have Succeed and Grow Rich Through Persuasion by Napoleon Hill. And I also, I also started this one. I have so many books that I've started and haven't kept reading, but I've also started this one, but I will tell you what this one is about. The golden key to success is in your hands. That key is the power of persuasion, the power to persuade yourself that you can do whatever you desire, and the power to persuade others to help both you and themselves. In this newly revised and updated book, Napoleon Hill, whose world bestseller, Think and Grow Rich, has shown millions of people the way to success, gives you the most potent and practical part of his famous formula for winning everything you'll ever want. Increase your self-confidence, master your hidden mental powers, cultivate your taste for success, develop proven strategies for making money, perfect the mental attitude factor of all successes. Learn over 700 action-packed mind conditioners that will stimulate your creative thoughts and set you on the road to wealth and happiness in business, in love, and in everything you do. And now a new chapter reveals contemporary success stories and shows how you too can develop the secrets of prosperity and put them to work in your own life today. So that is Succeed and Grow Rich Through Persuasion. So I hope this video helped you guys. I hope you will go check out some of these books so that you can dive deeper into your spiritual journey, learn more, and yeah can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. And thank you so much for almost 2,000 subscribers. But yeah, I will see you guys next time.